everybody, it's your boy Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you guys want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Also, I need a favor, I need you guys to hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section on the sneaker that we're about to take a look at today. And I need you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to reach a goal. Right now, we should be around like 1.3K. I'm trying to get to 1.5K subs. So if you guys would do me a solid and sub up to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you have already, I want to say thank you. Let's get right into the sneaker because they came out of nowhere. Not sure where this concept or idea came from, but we're gonna get right into it. Here we go, guys. We have a Jordan 1 box, regular OG Jordan 1 box. Here we go. I'm gonna read that box label for you guys. Says Air Jaw 1 Retro Low OG EX. And the color is black. Fire red smoke gray. Size 14 person pair. And uh I think these were 130, 130 US dollars retail. I got the goddamn screen. I was able to get these off of the sneakers app. I was just trying and I was like, let's see what these are about. As I open the box lid, you can see that lot stamp right here in red. Also, we got the white tissue paper. And look on the inside. There is no YDM sticker, and this came directly from the sneakers app. Let's get into the sneakers. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jar 1 Retro Low OG EX. And it's a different sneaker, didn't hear anything about it. It kind of sort of arrived. I saw these uh, early at my uh, local boutique. And uh, it was a different shoe, but we're gonna get right into it. We have breathable nylon on the majority of the upper. On your quarter panels, you have some black breathable nylon there. Also some black breathable nylon on your swoosh. We got some small gray breathable nylon right there. And we got some black breathable nylon right here on your mud guard. Looking at your midsole, it's like a sailish color midsole, so to speak, with black at the very bottom. And it leads you to the outsole. All black jaw in one outsole. Gonna look at the heel of the sneaker. We do have leather on the sneaker. We have some smoke green leather right here on the heel and up here on the heel tab which also displays the air jordan wings logo is in the black and it's branded on looking at the medial side more of that breathable nylon material we got black on your quarter panels and the swoosh and you also have some exposed material all around the sneaker that's going around the heel the nike swoosh and the uh the toe box you can see that as i hold it like this all that exposed material which was made famous by virgil Abloh, rest in paradise and the off-white collection midsole sale colorway black at the very bottom and we do uh give you a good look at that toe box you got the perforated holes with the breathable black nylon comes factory lace with black flat laces also comes with another pair of laces you have that sail color laces for these sail laces in, i think they're really gonna stand out also you can put this uh this red laces in there too it's probably gonna stand out as well but the black is just old plain jane in here and you have a regular nylon tongue underneath those black laces with a woven patch which is black and you have the red Nike Air. Let's see, we have a cardboard shoe tree. We got the Jumpman, size 13, 14. Let's look on the other side. It says die cut sock liner. Also, the insert, 
we have a seal color insert, red Nike Air branding on here. Flip it on the other side. I'm assuming this is what Nike is going with moving forward with the inserts because I'm seeing these a lot on the last few of my reviews. I've showed this to you guys. We have that type of insert. I'm going to have to wear a pair of sneakers that has that insert. Now we're going to try to look at the uh, sizing tag to give you guys a look at that sizing tag, see when these were produced. US size 14, production date February 9th of this year to April 26th of this year. So that's about two and a half months of production with these. So comment below guys, let me know what y'all think of the sneaker. Uh, if you want these and you missed out on them, uh, they are very reasonably priced on the local aftermarket apps. I think my size is going for like 140 right now so they're very affordable if you really want this sneaker this sneaker seems like your everyday throw on sneaker your beater that's what these seem like these will be great for and also like in rainy weather if you down here in louisiana where i live at we've been getting a lot of rain over the past month and i was going to my fantasy football draft as i dropped the shoe and it was raining a lot guys so these would have been perfect for that so uh let me know what y'all think of the air jordan retro one low ex smoke and like i always tell you if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker i'm titanic free jack signing out